When Pop went to England to be a coal miner, did you go with him? Did you want to? Neither do I. Has your father said what he's doing? He says it has to get decided by Christmas. When's he coming back? At the weekend. We're going to the pictures. He's taking us to Titty Titty Bang Bang. What in the name of God is that? It's a flying car. Oh God, I've heard it all. It goes over a cliff and you nearly fall out of your seat. Do you want to come? It'll be company for you till my pop's home. If God had wanted me to see flying cars, I'd have been born with blinking wings. <laughs> you love your films, don't you? I was a great one for the pictures when I was your age. I used to think you could climb right inside the screen and visit all those strange places you saw. <laughs> like that one in that film, what was that? Uh, uh, Lost Horizons, do you ever see that? No. What was the name of the place, Granny? Shangri-La, that's what they called it. Did you ever go there? There were no roads to Shangri-La from our part of Belfast. The wee girl's still showing some interest, yeah. She looks at me sometimes. But we're not allowed to talk in the class, so I can't say anything. And then when we go out to the playground, she always goes off with the other girls. Anyways, I think she loves that other fella. Ah, uh, you don't know that for sure. Women are very mysterious. And women can smash your face in two, mister. Your granny's become less mysterious over the years. So, you really like her? When I grow up, I want to marry her. Yeah, sounds like you really like her. You know, she's not only at school. You could see where she lives, maybe. It's Reynolds Drive, four houses in from the right, the one with the monkey eight. Well, you've done your research. I pass it every day on the way home. I try to look in, but she never sees me. She's always doing her bloody homework. If you were a wee bit more stupid like me, we'd be sitting together by now. Ah, uh, a pity beyond all telling is hid in the heart of love. Oh, it's full of pretty answers, that one. Come on, it's time to go. I don't want your mommy shouting at me because you're late. Cheerio, Sean. Cheerio. When is your next chance? We have to do a project about the moon landing. What, did those boys not come back from that? They did. Now we have to cut things out of the papers and explain how they got there. If they did get there, they did get to the moon. It's not what it says here. God doesn't like it. And I watched every night too that they were up there. And how did I never see Mike Collins in the mothership doing his orbit? Surely you would have seen the sheep of Columbus against the light of the moon. No, that's because mostly he was on the dark side. Exactly, it's the side that Lucifer hangs his chalet. Well, no, he was on the dark side of the moon most of the time where we couldn't see him. You know, when he was doing his orbit, and then maybe, you know, just before he was due to come around the corner, you had to go in for your tea. If I could come up with something smart about that, maybe I could step up at the top desk and wait till she gets back there. Or you could say the moon's made of green cheese and drop down a place. Or you could do the project together, you and the young lady. You get the same marks and maybe end up on the same seat together. But how do you even talk to her? How to handle oh. a woman? There's a way, said the wise old man. <laughs> a way known by every woman since the whole rigmarole. Yes, yeah, so whole rigmarole with you, mister. Mama says if we went across the water, they wouldn't understand the way we talk. That shouldn't be a problem, son. I've been married to your granny for 50 years. I've never understood a word you said. And if they can't understand you, then they're not listening. And that's their problem. You know, when I was in Leicester, they said the same thing about me, you know? So I put on a different bloody accent every day just to annoy them. They never knew who it was, but I did. And that's the only one who needs to know. You know who you are, don't you? Yes, Pop. Your buddy from Belfast 15. Where everybody knows you. And your pop looks out for you. And your mommy looks out for you. Your daddy looks out for you. Your granny looks out for you. Your brother looks out for you. And the whole family looks out for you. And wherever you go, 
And whatever you become, that'll always be the truth. And that thought will keep you safe. I'll keep you happy. You remember that for me? Yes, Pop. Aye, fine man you are.